All right, thank you guys. Welcome to our NBA video here today. For Sunday, May 30th, my name is Brock Page and I do sports picks for free right here on YouTube. And if you want to see which one of these YouTube picks I'm actually betting on personally here today, don't forget to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash brockpage. Now, I'm feeling pretty good this morning because we are coming fresh off a perfect 5-0 day in our five premium sports picks on my Patreon website yesterday. And that's going to improve our record to 3-0 and in our last three extra daily pick tier package plays on my Patreon website. And if you want to access today's extra daily pick, it's only going to cost you just $2.99. We're also 3-1 in our last four NBA tier package picks on that Patreon page as well. We currently have over 1,250 members who are signed up and active on that site. And if you want to join those folks and get in on the action, the link for that page is in the description section below. That's patreon.com slash brockpage. With that, guys, let's go ahead and dive into some NBA playoff action. We're going to start with the Knicks taking on the Hawks, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The Atlanta Hawks are minus five at home, totals 209. Now Atlanta's coming fresh off a dominant 11-point victory in Game 3 over these very Knicks. They're currently holding New York to just 100 points per contest on average in this series. And they've also gotten the W in nine out of their last 11 ball games. The Hawks have been very good at the State Farm Arena this season. They're currently 26 and 11 straight up as the home team. And they're cashing in against the spread in 65% of those home games. Atlanta's one of the better rebounding teams in the NBA right now. They're in the top five in home offensive rebounding, top 10 in defensive rebounding as well. Trey Young scoring over 27.5 points per contest in this series. Three rebounds, 10 assists for the point guard. Meanwhile, Bogdan Bogdanovich is scoring 17 a night himself, along with six boards and a pair of assists during this series as well. Meanwhile, the Hawks' defensive ac uh, efforts have certainly been noteworthy this season. Uh, they're allowing only 108 points per contest on their home court. Now, they're taking on a Knicks team who scored only 106 points or less in nine out of their last 10 ball games. The Knicks are in the bottom 10 in the league in road scoring as they're averaging only 104 points a game when they travel. And speaking of traveling, the Knicks have gotten the W in just 16 out of 37 road games. And when it comes to the total on this one, New York's last four straight all stayed under the number, 80% to the under in their last 10. Meanwhile, Atlanta saw their last six straight stay under the total themselves, 22 and 15 to the under at the State Farm Arena. I'm going to lean toward the Atlanta Hawks minus five in the under 209. Next ball game, it is going to be Suns versus the Lakers, 3.30 p.m. Eastern start time. The L.A. Lakers are minus six and a half, totals 210 juice to the under. The Lakers have played really good defensively in this series. They're allowing just 98 points per contest through three games against Phoenix. L.A. is also in the top three in the league defensively in points allowed. They're in the top five in defending the three ball as well. Anthony Davis is averaging 27 points a game in this very series. Nine rebounds, three assists for AD. Meanwhile, LeBron James is scoring 20 points a night himself. Five rebounds, nine assists through three games against Phoenix in these playoffs. And for the entire season, this Lakers club allows just 106 points per contest. They're taking on a Phoenix club who's been awful against the spread here recently. Now, out of their last 10 ball games. Phoenix has successfully covered the point spread just three times. And in addition to that, they've also struggled this season to rebound offensively. The Phoenix Suns are currently in the bottom three in the league in road offensive rebounding. They also struggled a little bit defensively late in games. They're currently in the bottom 10 in third quarter points allowed when traveling. So if you're looking to fire on this game, certainly keep all those factors in mind. And of course, all-star po uh, all point guard Chris Paul, he's been listed as questionable today with a shoulder injury. 
Now, total-wise, Phoenix is 70% to the over in their last 10, 21 and 16 to the over away from their home court. Meanwhile, the Lakers saw a contest with Indiana, Houston, and this very Phoenix team recently get over the line themselves. I'm going to lean toward the LA Lakers minus six and a half and the over 210. Next ball game, it is going to be Nets versus the Celtics, 7 p.m. Eastern tip-off. The Brooklyn Nets are minus seven and a half, numbers 228. Now, the Nets had a, uh, a lapse in defensive play during game three of this series. They gave up 125 points to a struggling Boston club. As a matter of fact, Brooklyn's defensive play has been pretty suspect all season long. They're in the bottom five in points allowed away from home. Bottom 10 in defending the three ball on the road as well. Now, equally as bad, the Nets tend to give up handfuls of points following halftime. They're actually in the bottom three in third quarter points allowed on the road. Now, they're taking on a Boston Celtic club who actually showed some real grit and resiliency getting the W in game three. They've actually gone four and two against the spread in their last six ball games. And in addition to that, they've played solid at the TD Garden this season. Boston is currently 23 and 15 straight up on their home court. And they're in the top three in the NBA in fourth quarter scoring at home as well. Now, Jason Tatum's averaging 27 points a night in this series. Four rebounds, four assists for the Ford. Meanwhile, Marcus Smart is averaging over 19 and a half points per contest himself. Three rebounds, five assists for Smart. This Boston team has done a real nice job on the offensive boards as well. They're in the top three in the association in offensive rebounding at home. Now, you do want to keep an eye on Kemba Walker. He's listed as questionable. Uh, I am optimistic we're going to see him in action here today, but if you're looking to fire on this game, I would expect some overreaction from the public when Walker's status is confirmed. Now, when it comes to the number in this one, games two and three of this series both got over the posted total. Meanwhile, Brooklyn saw five out of their last eight ball games get over the line themselves. The Nets are also 21 and 16 to the over when traveling. I'm going to lean toward the Boston Celtics plus seven and a half in the over 228. And with that, guys, we're going to jump into our next and final matchup for the show. It is going to be Clippers versus the Mavericks. 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The L.A. Clippers are minus three, totals 221. The Clippers beat the Mavs by double digits in game three. They actually held Dallas to just 108 points in that contest. L.A. is still leading the NBA in three-point shooting as well. They're drilling 41% of their three-pointers, and they're also shooting 84% from the stripe. Kawhi Leonard's averaging over 34 points a game, eight rebounds, four assists for the NBA champion. Meanwhile, Paul George is scoring nearly 27 points a game himself, eight rebounds, five assists for George. Now, the Clippers are also leading the NBA in defensive rebounding. They're also allowing only 107 points a game when traveling. They're taking on a Dallas club who, despite being up uh, two games to one in this series, they failed to cover the point spread in four out of their last seven ball games. Also, big uh, big factor here, Luka Doncic. He's listed as questionable for tonight's action. Dallas has successfully covered the point spread in just 15 of 37 home games. They're also in the bottom five in the league in home offensive rebounding. Now, when it comes to the scoring in this one, Dallas has gone 20 and 17 to the under at the American Airlines Center. Meanwhile, the Clippers have gone 60% to the under in their last 10 ball games themselves. LA is also 20 and 17 to the under when they travel. I'm going to lean toward the LA Clippers minus three in the under 221. And with that, guys, we're going to jump into our quick pick recap. Power to you by my Patreon website. I like Atlanta minus five under 209. LA Lakers minus six and a half over 210. Boston Celtics plus seven and a half over 228. Before I give you my next and final free pick for the video, one final reminder that we went a perfect 5-0 and in our five premium sports picks on my Patreon website yesterday. That's going to put us at 3-0 and in our last three extra daily pick tier package plays on that Patreon page. We're also hitting at 3-1 and in our last four NBA tier package picks on my Patreon site as well. I'm going to lean toward 
the LA Clippers minus three and the under 221. Now guys, real quick, if you found yourself really enjoying this video here today, please feel free to give it a thumbs up by smashing that like button. And if you're new here today or this week, please feel free to welcome yourself to the party by hitting that subscribe button as well. I'd love to connect with you on a daily basis. With that, guys, now we're going to go ahead and dive into some shout outs to our top 10 YouTube commenters over the past couple of days or so. So without any further ado, shout out goes to Nero Neathsreg, Houston Gilliland, Gerald Pulaski, Michael Williams. Also want to give a shout out to Zorbex Fox. Uh, shout out goes to uh, Danny Kaprosky, DJ Wavy, uh, David New, Manito Ray, and last but certainly not least, got to give a shout out to my good friend, Christy Martin. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon. If you guys do decide to get a package here today on my Patreon website, just keep in mind, Patreon's going to bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. So if you do end up getting a package here today, you're going to get billed today. And then if you continue to opt in, you're going to get billed again on June 1st. So you may want to think about holding off until the 1st of June to get your max value. But if you feel like you can't wait and you want to get in on, uh, get in on some action, I certainly don't blame you there as well. But once again, got to remind you that Patreon is going to bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. But most importantly, guys, Got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, happy Sunday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page.